as we all know, the tornado was rated a high-end EF3, and that's based on small sections of the track that reached that rating of that high-end EF3, but there were many sections that were zero, ones, or twos. But we now know, and what has been released now, the exact areas of EF3 damage. And I'm going to show that to you uh, right now with the official track. And you've got to look at the color code of these triangles, these tornadoes, the starting point. So this is where it touched down. Uh, this is off of uh, Cooper Orbit. There's Canis up here. It was EF0, became an EF1. You see it labeled EF1, EF1. The National Weather Service goes through here and they mark the damage that was found and, and then they rate it. So that's EF0 uh, to EF1. That's as it crossed Canis. Now this is Coles over here. Parkway Place Pool EF1. EF1 through Parkway Place in that area. Uh, the Let's see, let me make sure I get all my bearings here correctly. Uh, it crosses over Chanel Parkway as an EF0 to an EF1. Then it hits this apartment complex. And in this apartment complex, they found EF3 tornado damage. So most, it says here, most top uh, story walls collapsed. So that is EF3 damage right there in that apartment complex on Napa Valley where it bends and it goes downhill. Uh, so there's EF2 damage in these apartments right across on Napa Valley. Now we start to get into the Walnut Ridge subdivision. Let's zoom into this area. In the Walnut Ridge subdivision, you see EF0s, EF2s, EF1s. Uh, let's, I'm, I'm going to make sure I get this right. This is Shackelford right here. I believe, I may be wrong about this, just to be honest with you. Uh, I think that this is Shackelford. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna, this is the area on Shackelford. And then this is Breckenridge right here, the fire stations up here. There were houses uh, along this right here, EF3 damage in these houses right here. That's Breckenridge. This is Shackelford. These are the houses with EF3. It looks like the fire station had EF2 damage there on Shackelford, but these houses are, are basically gone. So uh, I think it has a photo here that I can show you. And this is EF3 tornado damage. It's going to come up here with the picture here. Uh, and there it is. Yeah, there's Shackelford. So all these three houses are EF3 damage. Also look in these houses. Look at the center room right over here on the bottom part. Uh, you see these interior of this home. Uh, you would have been okay. Uh, you know, if you got into the interior of your home, it, it's a, it's a miracle. I, I mean, an absolute miracle that nobody was killed, uh, over here. So let's go back to, to Google earth here. And, um, there's a business right here and they shot video of the tornado track here when it was an EF1 to EF2. And let me show you the video. This is from Mike Bennett. Mike Bennett's friend sent this to me. Uh, and, and so I want you to see, this is the video looking towards the Southwest. So it's looking from this building into these trees right here, okay? So I'm gonna kind of speed through it and look at the trees. It's got foliage on them and everything and watch what happens in 30 seconds. You see that? Then they go run for cover. They're running for cover. You see, you're gonna see things flying. You see that? You see the, uh, the shed back there flying away. Look at that. Trees, look at the trees back in there through that opening going down and in less than 30 seconds, he goes out Watch this. And goes out, looks at those trees. Listen to uh, I don't know if I got the volume. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's up there? And so you go from Mother Nature's, you know, decades of growth to a beach just bare almost in less than 30 seconds. So that's where we had the EF3 damage out there. there in West Little Rock. I showed you a couple of those points. So let's continue on the path of this, all right? So this is I-430 in Rodney Perham. This is where Brett Adair set up, and he was in this parking lot shooting of his camera this direction. So there's uh, EF3 damage right on the right next to the ramp uh, that goes from Rodney Perham southbound on 430, EF3 damage. Then it hits Kroger, all right, in the Colony West Shopping Center. It hits Colony West, EF1 damage. Uh, I think it's more EF2 to EF3 in this area right in here of Sturbridge and Colony West. And that's kind of, you see here, a damage marker on Sanford Drive of EF3, EF2, EF2. All right, so then it crosses, that's Reservoir. That's the lake there, the Reservoir Lake. EF1 damage, it goes through a very wooded area. 
We've all seen the video of the crossing over Cantrell Road. Not quite sure why the imagery is blurry there, but you have pavilion in the park over here. Uh, right in here, you have pavilion in the park. EF1, uh, not quite sure why that imagery is quite like that. But then it goes through Foxcroft as an EF0 to EF1. Uh, I see EF0, EF1. I don't see any EF2. It goes uh, it, right up there on Rebsman, the Arkansas River, EF1. Goes into North Little Rock, EF1. It's Burns Park. All right, EF0. Here's EF2 damage. All right. I apologize. Not sure why the Google Earth has kind of got low resolution here, too, though. But North Little Rock, that's twos. Uh, it goes through, and I'm, I'm looking at mainly here in North Little Rock, I don't find any threes. These are mainly EF0, EF1, and EF2 damage. But again, remember the tornado gets an overall rating of EF3. So through North Little Rock, I see the highest rating here of EF2. I'm making sure I'm not missing anything. Then it starts to make a move towards Indian Hills. There's Indian Hills. EF0, 1s, 2s. Um, this is all EF1. I'm looking to see uh, if there's, there's Apple Valley. We're getting into the Sherwood area here. You have zeros, ones, twos. Now we're getting close to 67, 167. That's in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Uh, ones, going through the track, there's a zero, zero, zero. Uh, and then we, that's 440 and 67, 167 comes into Jacksonville. Uh, now Jacksonville, very hard hit. So let's zoom in on this area here. And again, I apologize, don't know why the imagery is so blurry. But I see twos. I don't see any three yet. Ah, there it is. So just east of Jacksonville, let's widen this out. Do you see that three right there? So there was EF3. Ah, very good point of reference. There's the Little Rock Air Force Base here. And so just south of the Little Rock Air Force Base, let's zoom in into this area and check out what the National Weather Service found. There's EF3 damage in Jacksonville. Small professional building, doctor's office, branch banks, Two building structures were observed here, including a church cathedral and a vestry building just to the northwest of the cathedral. And it goes on. Let me see here. It's got a picture. It's going to load up the picture here. Again, in Jacksonville, we're at the spot of EF3. A lot of EF1 damage there, some EF2. Well, I don't know if it's going to load the picture or not. Uh, but there, there should be a, a photo with this. Let me try the second picture and see if that loads. Well, that doesn't want to load it for me, but uh, for some reason or the other. But there, it, it may not have been downloaded into the system here. But that's EF3 damage there um, in Jacksonville. Oh, it's going to load the picture. It's very high resolution. Uh, so just give it a second, maybe, and it's going to pop up. Or we'll just go back to the track. So there's EF2, and then it goes towards just to the south of Cabot, EF1. EF, it's, it's starting to lose its punch, it appears. Um, and I see EF1, EF2 actually there. No more EF3 damage. There's Cabot. Look how it narrowly missed Cabot. Uh, sort of a long video, yeah, but I, I think it's very interesting and informative to show you um, the exact path of this plus the uh, meteorology, the ratings of this, the zeros, ones, twos, and threes, the overall tornado is a three, but I showed you exactly where it was three in several points where they found that type of damage. All right. Better times ahead in terms of weather. It's going to be dry. It's going to be nice. Let's the cleanup begin. As always, thank you for trusting us at Channel 3. Channel 7. That's my old TV station in Chattanooga. I need some sleep. Thank you for trusting us at Channel 7. I used to work there 20 years ago in Chattanooga. Oh, I need rest. Thank you for trusting us at Channel 7, the team with the most experience. I'm going to go to schedule sleep.